What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're talking about how to make better Instagram stories. That's what you're here for, that's what the title says, so let's just jump into it and skip all the bullshit. Right, so, um, we'll be using Premiere Pro today to make our Instagram stories. Um, typically you shoot these on like a phone, whatever you got, but in reality you could film some stuff on your phone or on a DSLR like I did, and you can edit it in editing software like Premiere Pro in the Adobe Suite, and then you can export those files and make some pretty cool stories, but there's a couple of rules to follow. I wouldn't necessarily call them rules, but principles to follow to make sure they're really good. So, I have Premiere Pro already open. As you can see in Premiere Pro, I already had this really cool like sequence built that has like the vertical settings like a phone, and um, I've already edited something together, and if you don't know what this is, this is from my VidCon video that I made, which is just a big video I shot out in LA um, about VidCon, and I thought it was pretty cool because I had these sequences at the very end. Like cool stuff like jumping into um, the pool and stuff like that. And let's see, the plane comes over. Really awesome, right? I thought it was pretty cool. And like, I was like, that'd be kind of cool on an Instagram story. So why not edit together in Premiere Pro and spit it out? So um, you can see here that I had this thing already made but so how did I get this started like this first if you're familiar with Premiere Pro great if not you'll see this thing called a project window right here and you can just right click new sequence and booms opens up these settings and you're gonna have a bunch of stuff kind of preset here but the settings for phones are vertical so you have to make that um, so you can click on digital SLR um, down the drop arrow and click DSLR 1080p at 24 frames per second but the problem is currently the frame size is 1920 by 1080 vertical you want to reverse that so go to settings and let's do frame size let's 1080 by 1920 to reverse that and we could always just save this preset also and call it like um, Instagram stories boom just like that click OK let's call our sequence um, Instagram stories um, let's call this Instagram and click OK. Now we have a vertical sequence so we can just drag and drop footage in. So if I just dragged in any footage from my old uh, video, let's see, VidCon footage, double click this folder, pop it open, just grab some quick footage real fast, doesn't matter what it is. You can drag it into here and it does like that. Now this can be shot on your phone or DSLR, doesn't matter, but the footage is originally 1920 by 1080. So currently it is I don't know, two square. But if we click our effects control panel right here, um, and if you don't see it, you can always go to window and click on effect controls to turn it on. Pops open this. You can see that our position and our scale needs to be changed. So we can scale this footage up just like that. Or if you're really smart, you can just film sideways with your camera and not have to worry about this, except for the rotation. You still have to rotate at 90 degrees. So. I'm assuming we filmed sideways with our camera. You would rotate this 90 degrees just like that, and it would just be perfect. But we filmed horizontally, so we need to scale this up to about 180, I think is the perfect number that I looked at. Is it the perfect number? Yeah, it's pretty much perfect. 180 on the 1080p footage, and then you can reposition it with position. So this is the X, this is the Y. But you don't want to re reposition the Y because it's already in the middle. Um, so reposition the X to fit your needs the best, and this could be this. For Instagram, I guess. But remember that Instagram stories are only 15 seconds long. So my sequence right here that I made for Insta stories is way too long. It's like a minute long. So I need to export this out into 15 second segments. So it's all edited together. just like that. So I need to make 15 second segments to separate this out. Separate this out. So what I would do um, is actually go into Premiere Pro, um, do new or right click new color mat, which that opens up just the base thing, what it is. You need it to be 1080 by 1920, click OK. Let's make it red for now. Doesn't matter at all. And I, I'll, I'll drag this above my Instagram story. And I will turn the layer off. So now that we got our color mat on here, we can actually make this thing 15 seconds long, exactly. So to go to your little tag right here, your time, type in 1500 or 1500, which means 15 seconds. Now drag your color mat out to 15 seconds long. Now this is exactly 15 seconds long. So you know how longer-ish your Instagram story edit should be. Now 
like we said before, if you want to make multiple and to kind of have a continuing Instagram story that's longer than 15 seconds, you have to upload separate ones, but you get the, you get the concept. You just have to export different multiple files at the end of the day. So let's copy and paste this uh, color mat into my other Instagram story that I've already edited. And we can paste it on the third layer. Now, if I just paste this in here with this looking like this, so V1, V1 highlighted, Command V or Control V, it pastes over my footage, and I don't want that. So undo that. Um, I need to turn on V3 and turn off V1, which so it'll paste on the first layer or the third layer. So just like that, we have a 15 second color mat. We know, turn the layer off so we can see, we know that this will be all the way to here. Right, and then we can click O on our keyboard to create an out point, and we will render this out. So what we're going to do to render this section out is go to File, Export, Media, so once the uh, export um, dialog box opens up, we can go ahead and see that there's some presets in here. So what we're going to do is uh, change the presets just a little bit to maximize our render quality in a certain way that makes our videos look nice for Instagram. Although Instagram probably compresses them already, so it doesn't matter too much. But anyways, so our format's going to be H.264. Preset, match high bit rate, you know, match source high bit rate. Um, the basic video settings are already normal from the X, from the sequence. And we can kind of scroll down and we can do right here. All this stuff should be just checked from your sequence settings from the original. Um, you're going to do VBR 2 pass and do 20 and 25 for your maximum bit rate. And yeah, and then what we can do and actually do an output name. So I can do like, you know, let's let's go to like a new folder somewhere. Let's just make a brand new folder here inside of my um, tutorial folder. Let's do right click, new folder exports. Now on a Mac, it'd be a little different for you, but we'll call it Insta Story 1. So let's save. And then we're gonna hit Q to queue this up in the media encoder which opens up Media Encoder, which lets us export our video. Now, you could just export this one in Premiere if you want to, but I want to queue up multiple exports at once. So, right, I want to actually hook in on this, and I want to take this and actually export the second part, which is going to be, this is going to be this, and this is going to be this, the exact second part of my Instagram story. Now, Media Encoder has popped up. We can see that it's ready to be exported. If it's um, Mercury Playback Engine GPU accelerated for me, and you would just click play to export it. But I have this other one I want to queue up. So we're going to go ahead and go to File, Export, Media, and I'm going to queue up all these Instagram stuff. And it should be already preset to what we did before. So Insta Stories, Export, Story 2. And Q. And boom. And I'll speed this up, but I should only have to do this like, you know, what, just a few more times to get the entire minute video. Now we're at the end of this. Um, I might just tear this off right here and make the music fade out at the end right here just to kind of finalize this. And maybe kind of like, yeah, there's a beat. There's a beat. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, uh, uh. This will start a little earlier right here on that beat. Boom, boom. Just give this footage a little more time. Then a file, export, media, and we'll do Insta Story 4. And Q. And these are ready to be exported. Now, getting these on your phone to upload to Instagram shouldn't be that difficult, but there's a couple ways to do it and I'll show you how to do that. So let's export these bad boys and go from there. All right, so now that these files are exported, you know, there's a couple different ways you can get these on your phone. I'm sure you know a way, just follow your own method that works, but I'm gonna show you mine and then we're gonna upload these to Instagram. So what I'm gonna do is just actually just drop these Insta story, where's one? Oh man, where are you? Okay, drop it into exports. Exports, there they all are. So we're, I'm just going to actually just copy these and just drop them into my Google Drive. And we're going to download these from Google Drive to my phone. They're only 37 megabytes per thing, so it's a tiny file. shouldn't be a big deal to download to my phone. And we'll go from there. So I'll see you on my iPhone. 
Now remember, if you're on a Mac, you could always just iMessage these to yourself, but since I'm on a PC, I have to do the Google Drive way. Not too big a deal. Or heck, you could even Slack them to yourself, because Slack is on your phone. So, that also works. But I'll catch you guys on my iPhone. In three, two, one, go! Now we're in my phone, and we can see what all my stuff and my favorite apps are. Whatever, that is life. Let's do this. So open up my Google Drive and you can see that there are the stuff. The video's right here. We open up a video. We're gonna click the little three dots in the top right corner and we're gonna do send a copy. So there's a thing that says send a copy. Open that, uh, that's not right. Hit send a copy, opens this and we're gonna click save video. And then we'll do that for each one. Some of them still seem to be processing but we'll just save the video. Preparing to export. I love the new notifications. You know, we'll get through this and be able to <laughs> upload these videos to Instagram at some point. I'll fast forward this to make sure this doesn't happen again. But let's jump into Instagram, Instaham, and I've actually, ooh, new people, thanks. Um, I've never actually uploaded a story, so. Shame on me. Here is something in the last 24 hours, which is the first story. And uh, there you go. Maybe I'll put a little thing on here. LA. Move this to right down at the bottom. And yeah, these should look pretty cool. So let's do that. And I can add more to my story or add to my story. Oh, there it goes. That's how it, that's how it works. It's uploading. So if you follow me on Instagram and you watch this video, you might get to see this thing upload. So that's pretty cool. But that is how you upload really cool Instagram stories from Premiere Pro. But as always, I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. And it makes your Instagram stories way, way better going forward. As always, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Stay in touch. Send me a message. I'll reply back as best I can. Please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.